Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another video for Soul Calibur 6. Hopefully by now you guys have had a chance to jump into the game, start learning your combos for your characters, going online, working through story mode, making your own characters. I know I've been doing pretty much all of that, but today I want to focus on custom characters. Soul Calibur's character creator is so ridiculously in depth. I have seen some fantastic creations, characters from movies, from anime, from comics. There have also been some slightly questionable ones. <laughs> which we won't talk about, but today I thought I'd focus on my favourite ones that I've seen so far. So this is going to be my top five custom characters in Soul Calibur 6. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, then a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have made any custom characters yourself. By all means, feel free to share them with me on Twitter or join the Discord and share them over there. But also, if you guys want a chance to win a limited edition Spider-Man PS4 Pro, you can also click the link in the description box down below to enter the giveaway for a chance to win. And if you guys don't want to miss any of our latest uploads, don't forget you can click that notification button so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Now, kicking things off at number one, you knew it was going to happen. I mean, this character has been pretty much everywhere on the internet these past few weeks, showing up in other games through mods, inspiring a whole slew of additional original character designs with similar origins. We are, of course, talking about Bowsette. Now, credit for this design actually goes to two different people. The first one we saw was from Espionage on Twitter, followed by a similar design by SpiderKite on Reddit. However, since we had to recreate the characters ourselves for this video, we essentially combined both of their Bowser drawing the best aspects from either to create the ultimate version. For those of you looking to make this character for yourself, then you can see all the armor and gear used on screen, and outside of that, you'll of course need to play around with the color palette to achieve the intended result. Then moving on from there to number two, we have one for all the Nero Automata fans out there. This time it is 2B. This awesome creation came from Hydrange Bed on Reddit, and thanks to some of the available blade options, you really do have a pretty convincing looking 2B. Won't go easy. You're blind! Farewell. Oh Pitiful. Next up, in number three, one for the anime fans out there. If you like Kill la Kill, then you'll recognize this Soul Calibur rendition of Ryuko Matoi. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the original creator for this one, but it was tweeted out by Frozen DW5 on Twitter. So I'm not sure whether that was the creator or whether they were just tweeting one they'd found, but either way, whoever did this did a fantastic job. Some of the available armor pieces do lend themselves really nicely to the overall design, but it also makes really good use of the stickers and paint you can apply to your character to fill in those missing gaps. Power! Strike through! That's far enough! Is that all? Moving on from there to number four, we have Siri from The Witcher. It seems only fitting, given that Geralt is here, that Siri show up too. This one is also pretty simple to make, but she definitely looks the part. Again, unfortunately, we couldn't find the person that originally posted this, but this was again tweeted by Frozen DW5 on Twitter. If these are your creations, then genuinely excellent work. Then in number five, if you like Kill la Kill, then there's also a good chance you may have heard of Tengen Topo Guren Lagann. If you haven't, then you should totally go and watch that because it is an incredible series, but this final character is none other than Mr. Motivation Kamina. This was posted by Dr. Gamma on Twitter. <laughs> Die. And then finally, while this is a top five and you've seen the top five, there had to be an honorable mention. This is Pistachio Man. No other explanation is needed. When presented with a character creator and unlimited possibilities, some people make some crazy creations and some people make a pistachio. Again, shout out to Dr. Gamma on Twitter for posting this one. So 
there you have it. That is a look at some of my personal favorite custom characters in Soul Calibur 6 so far. Of course, shout out to all the original creators. We tried to credit them wherever possible. But if you guys have seen any awesome creations yourself that perhaps weren't included in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, keep it locked for much more from Arix Gaming. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.